Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 4 to the power of x plus 10 to the power of x, this is equal to 25 to the power of x. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now we have 4 to the power of x plus 10 to the power of x. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x. So the first step to do here, let's divide both signs by 4 to the power of x. Here 4 to the power of x and on the right hand side by 4 to the power of x. Now we simplify here. So this is 1 plus. Now we can express 10 basically as 5 multiplied by 2 then divided by 4. 4, remember, is 2 times 2. Then this is actually raised to the power of x. And this is equal to, we can express 25 also as 5, multiplying by 5, raised to the power of x, divided by, this is 2 times 2, raised to the power of x. Now, you find that 5 times 5 raised to the power of x and 2 times 2 raised to the power of x. This is actually in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n. And this can be expressed as a over b raised to the power of n. So applying this exponent property, now we have 1 plus, here we have, we simplify 2 and 2, then we have 5 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to now here we have 5 times 5, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2, divided by 2 times 2, this is 2 to the power of 2, then everything here raised to the power of x. The next step is that 5 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to power m, and we can express this as well as a to the power of m raised to power n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 1 plus 5 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now here we have 5 over 2 raised to the power of x, then everything here raised to the power of 2. The next step is that we can let 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power x. This is, we can let this to be equal to u. Substituting u, then we have 1 plus u. This is equal to u to the power of 2. The next step is to take 1 plus u on the right hand side. So that now we have u to the power of 2 minus u minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and that c is also equal to minus 1. So we can solve for u1, comma, u2, by applying the quadratic formula, this is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c. Everything here divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here so that we have minus times minus 1. Then we have plus or minus the square root of. Now we have minus 1 raised to the power of 2 minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is also minus 1 then everything here divided by 2 times 1 so that now here we have minus times minus 1 this is 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared this is actually equal to 1 then minus 4 times minus 1 this is plus 4 everything here divided by Two. So this implies that here we have 1 plus or minus 
the square root of 1 plus 4, this is 5, everything here, divided by 2. So this implies that u1, this is equal to 1, plus square root of 5, divided by 2, and that u2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 5, divided by 2. So, if you recall from here, we end that we let 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, 5 over 2 raised to the power of x, be equal to u. So let's substitute u so that we have, on one side, we have 5 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And on the other side, we have 5 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So, as you can check here, 5 over 2 raised to the power of x, this should give us a positive value. As well as on the right hand side, here we have a positive value as well. When you check on the other side here, 5 over 2 raised to the power of x, this is a positive value. But on the right hand side here, we have 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. This is negative. So this implies that this part is rejected. So we cannot proceed with this part. So let's proceed with this part here. 5 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log. 5 over 2 raised to the power of x, this is equal to log, this is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now we have log 5 over 2 raised to the power of x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n, and this can be expressed as n log log a. So let's apply this power rule property so that now here we have x log 5 over 2. This is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. The next step is that log 5 over 2 and here log, log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is in the form of log a over b. And this can be expressed as rock A subtract rock B. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have x. Then into the parenthesis, we have rock 5 subtract rock 2. This is equal to, now here we have rock 1 plus square root of 5 subtract rock 2. So let's divide both signs by rock 5 minus rock 2. Then here also we, we divide by rock 5 minus rock 2. So let's simplify here. So that now x here is equal to, now we have rock 1 plus square root of 5 minus rock 2 divided by rock 5 minus rock 2. Now, we find that from here, this is the same thing as rock 1 plus square root of 5. This is the same thing as rock 3.2361 subtract rock 2 divided by, here we have rock 5 subtract rock 2. Now here we have rock 3.2361, this is the same thing as 0 0.5100, subtract rock 2, which is 0 0.3010, divided by rock 5, which is 0 0.69897, subtract 0 0.3010. 
and therefore we have that x is equal to 0. Point, this is the same thing as 209 divided by here we have 0. 0.39 seven nine seven and this is actually equal to zero point five two five two so this is the value of x this is the value of x so the next step is to verify so let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so if you recall we have we have that for the power of x plus 10 to the power of x, this should give us a value of 25 to the power of x. Let's substitute x so that we have 4 to the power of 0 0.5252 plus 10 raised to the power of 0 0.5252. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of 0 0.5252. Now we have 4 to the power of 0 0.5252, this is the same thing as 2.0711, then plus 10 to the power of 0 0.5252, this is the same thing as 3.3512, and this is equal to 25 raised to the power of 0 0.5252, this is equal to 5.4225. So let's add, let's sum these two. So that you have here, this is 5.4223. This is equal to 5.422. If you round off here, this is the same thing as 3. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is equal to 0 0.5252 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe kindly like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now